All right, and this is where, let's see, I'm going to go back now and remember what I did with my previous image here. I painted that white at the top and then I speckled it. I'm going to do the same thing. Now with this new version though, you have to know where your stuff is. So here is our current setup. It's right here. And let me go to my shadows map and, to, and I'm going to use the shadows map to figure out where stuff is. So I'm going to drag this here, drag that here. Oh, I know why. Oh, I'm such a doofus. Okay. With my shadows map here, I can tell that... Yeah. I'm going to paint white on the diffuse map. This is still my diffuse map, but it's telling me what is... So I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to call this barrel tips. And this is where I'm going to paint that white. So get a light gray. A light gray. There, I'm going to turn off the shadows map. I am going to use a fairly large brush with a feathered edge. Is that good? I think so. There we go. And now I'm going to make something called a speckle. And the speckle is going to be again a paintbrush and I'm going to use this Kyle bonus chunky charcoal and I'm gonna beef this up pretty big and I'm going to just left click left click and I think that's a little too much so what I'm also going to do is click a new layer and call speckled gold and kind of go back and paint with the gold over that. And I'm going to paint more down here. There we go. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and delete. Oh, yeah, I'm going to... Nope, I'm not going to delete. I'm actually going to paint speckled... More speckled stuff over all of those gold pieces. Because I think it all deserves it. Some of it more than others. Um, there's the gold. There we go. Turn on this piece here, and this is where I need to say, okay, look, that should be fine. Let me go ahead and erase some of this, okay. go. The other thing I might want to do is this line right here is really bad. I'm going to actually move. I'm going to unlink the mask that I did. Move this here. Yeah, there it goes. Now link that mask back up again. And now they're both connected. Okay. Now I'm going to save this as my, um, I'm just going to click save so it saves the Photoshop and I'm going to save this over itself.
because I'm going to be risky. Gun Diffuse Map 02 TGA. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. You'll see why in a second. I think that's totally fine to do that. Um, remember, if I messed up, then it's actually a Photoshop document. I can go back in time pretty easily. Let's zoom in here a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to just replace this with itself. So re-import it. And you should see it update right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. There we go. There we go, baby. I know what happened here. I did a boo-boo with my shadows map, so I'm going to come into my Photoshop. Come to my shadows map, all of this stuff in here. Um, it's basically casting shadows on itself. I did a bad thing. I shouldn't have done what I did, but... Um, because I placed different objects over each other, which you saw me do it, I told you it would be fine. I'm going to come back here and just paint white here so that there's no shadows. Again, if I were to go back in time, oh god, I'd probably do that over. Save as a PSD. And then I'm just going to save over itself because I just saved the PSD. I'm fine by saving over this as the shadows map. Yes, I'll replace it. Come back in Unreal Engine and update that shadows map. And there we go. There's still a piece there that's not getting it, and I need to fix that as well. Um, but there we have it. Now, where might we put some alien insignias? Remember? That's what we talked about. Um, number one, oh, I'll do the... I'll do the the screws that I actually need. Oh goodness! Yep, this is also getting some bad shadows. Oh, Agni. Um, the good news is I can just you know paint over it in Photoshop and it's fine. So let's put a really cool alien insignia here. Um, if I were to do it right, I'd do some a ton of sketches. But what I'm probably going to do here is add a new layer and call it Alienese. And going to go ahead and just make some really cool... Okay, so I did not like that first attempt, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, Polygon Lasso tool, and I'm just going to make maybe something triangular, because of course all aliens do triangles, and I'm going to go ahead and fill that uh, by going to Edit, Fill with Black. I'm going to duplicate this layer and probably... Hit G to deselect. Oh gosh, what did I do? Nope. Dang it. Oh my god. I'm not sure what I did just now. I'm going to hit Command D because that's what I should have done. To deselect. And I'm going to... Ah, that's what I want to do. Move this here. Alt, con or Alt move there. And Command T to now turn this into something that might could pass for some type of alien thing, right? And I'm going to select these three things, put them in a group called Alienese, and set that opacity down. And now I'm going to save that as a Targa. Oh, gosh. 
All right, and so there's now, I had to kind of move it in Photoshop a lot to kind of get it to where I want it, to maybe change the opacity a little bit. Um, but essentially, I kind of found something I liked. I'd probably want to spend a lot more time on this insignia there, the logo. Now, the only thing I'd want to do is work on the smoothness here. And I'd kind of want to figure out, you know what? The smoothness that I want to have is the, I want the gold to be smoother. Uh, actually, you know what? No, the um, that silver should be the smoothest, and then the gold a little bit less smooth because the silver is where it's been um, brushed more with like fingers and stuff and handled, and so that's actually quite smooth. So I'm gonna pause this while I reconfigure the Photoshop um, map to show what that might look like. Okay. So here's my method of creating this map, or series of, yeah, the map for roughness. And it's I'm going to select all of this gray that is in here and all these speckled parts, because these are going to be smooth. And so I'm going to use the magic wand. I set the tolerance to about 47. I unchecked contiguous because I want it to select everything in all of these speckles. I set it to sample all layers so that it will sample all of the different layers and get every single bit of these gray parts. And now I'm going to left click here on the gray and it's going to select everything here. Great job. Now I've got this new layer, layer 5 in roughness. I'm going to double click that and call it smooth. Enter. And I'm going to hit edit fill and I'm going to fill it with black because this image here is going to be um, black means it's not rough at all. Okay, well now the easy thing to do is select inverse. So I'm going to go to select and say inverse and it selects everything I didn't select and I'm going to choose and uh, create a new layer. I'm going to call that med for medium and I'm going to fill that with probably a color that is like gray, 50% gray. There, I'm, now I'm gonna hit Command or Control D to deselect. That's what this map looks like. The wood I wanna be not, oh no, the wood should be smooth as well. Cool. Um, anything that should be rough, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm gonna keep this as it is. And I'm going to save this as a TGA. That is my the gun roughness map or uh, rough map there and bring this into unreal engine again rough map open up my material and drag that rough map where are you into my material editor and hook that up to roughness. Now that should, oh yeah. Oh, there we go. There we freaking go. All right. All right. All right. Now, obviously, what I do is take down this part. This should be a little bit gray. That should be even um, whiter, or sorry, lighter gray, lighter gray, because I don't want all that stuff to be too smooth. Wow. Ooh, nice insignia there. All right. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to make a um, normal map real quick. Bye.